What's up, YouTube? What's up, Raider Nation? It's your boy, L.L.B. I'm back once again with another YouTube video. In this video, I know y'all wanted my opinion about the Mark Portray, and I didn't give it to y'all, I didn't deliver it to y'all, but here's the video right here. Here is the video right here. I'm about to give it to y'all right now. I'm about to tell y'all exactly how I feel about this Amari Cooper drink. And it really don't bothers me. It really don't bother me that he's been traded to the Dallas Cowboys. It's like we know that the Oakland Raiders is preparing to move to Las Vegas or something. John Gruden trading everybody. Everybody hopes and dreams is like it feel like it's going down the drain because we seen the potential that the team had. We seen the potential. We felt like the team that we had or have could have been Super Bowl champions because of what we seen. 2015, 16, 17. We've seen the potential. It's just small things that we needed. And we believe that John Gruden could have got the job done this year because it really wasn't, this really wasn't a bad team. It just, we had too many kinks. I'm say king, too many kinks missing pieces. Because the 2016 team, was, was nowhere near compared to the 2017 team because the 2016 team had let's say it's Mary, Crabtree, Carr, and Cooper. And we did a good job. We could have went to the playoffs. No, we went to the playoffs, but we lost. The way we lost was off Darren Carr. So, that's why it don't, really don't bother me because, because I see what John Gruden trying to do. He trying to build a long-term team to where we can win Super Bowl, Super Bowl, Super Bowl after Super Bowl after Super Bowl after Super Bowl instead of just winning. Instead of just having this team. Hold on, hold on. I'm explaining it better. Hold on. Let's say John Gruden no, I ain't gonna say he no, but we feel like that this team could have won a Super Bowl. But John Gruden, he want to build a team to win multiple Super Bowls. Okay, it's okay to win one Super Bowl. But how long going to take again to win another one? So now, after that team is gone and finish and the cap space and you got to get rid of players, you gotta have to get rid of players just to save money. Why not do it now instead of doing it down the road? Why not build now to make a team good so you can win most of the Super Bowl, have young guys on the team to where they can play five years and give you four or five years worth of good football instead of trying to splurge money and keep all the good players and kill the count space and only win one Super Bowl then be bad after that after that Super Bowl year. That's what a lot of people not seeing. Let's say if we did keep everybody. Let's say we did keep Mac. Let's say we did have that pass rush we needed. How far could we have gone? How, how far we could have gone? How many Super Bowls have, would you think we would have won? How many Super Bowls you really think we would have won, won? With all that money we paying off. With all that money we paying out, how many people you think we really could have count? How many people? How many how many people you think we'd have won? One? Two? Let's say we did pay all that money out and didn't win a Super Bowl. Let's say we, we pay all that money out and didn't win a Super Bowl. For for what? How many contract extension? Five years. Let's say we pay all that money out for five years. And we didn't win that one Super Bowl. Now, we're looking dumb. 
because we playing players millions of dollars and they didn't help the team win Super Bowls. Now, which one gonna look worse? Paying all this money out to players that are supposed to be so great and elite and the Oakland don't win no Super Bowl or getting rid of all the cap, all the cap killing players, cap and money killing players, get rid of all of them and bring in young guys to help you win Super Bowls for five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years. That grew here for 10 years. So he won't play us here for five to 10 years. Like a, like a Tom Brady at Bill Bowser. He won't play us that gonna be here for like five to 10 years. Imagine having a receiver and a quarterback, the same receiver and quarterback on the same team with the same coach for five to 10 years and y'all won six Super Bowls. Imagine that. This is a Belichick, this is like a Belichick Tom Brady thing John Gruden trying to do. John Gruden gonna find his quarterback. John Gruden gonna find his receivers. And he gonna build his team. He gonna save money, not splurge it. Overpaid players, not gonna do that. John Gruden is never gonna overpay players. They don't deserve the money. Let me how I feel about the Cooper trade because it's not a bad thing and it's not a good thing. Because there are players coming out the drought that is just as good as Amari Cooper. That's what y'all don't know. This players is coming out the drought that is just as good as Amari Cooper. Even the guy we took off practice squad is just as good as Amari Cooper. What's the name? Uh, Marcel, I think it's Marcel Aitman. Marcel Aitman is good. He's tall. He fast. He can catch the ball. He can catch jump balls. So, you just have to trust the process. Trust the process. You can't... See, there's a lot of people looking too deep. It's like, okay, Mark Cooper. Yes, he's good. There's, but there's nothing wrong with trading him to save money to make the team better. It's a, it's a business decision. No, everyone don't know it's a business decision. He's saving Oakland money. He going out to get Oakland players that you need. Like y'all say, we need a pass rush. That's what John Gruden trying to do. Get us a pass rush. But y'all want to talk down on the man. John Gruden trying to get us a pass rush. Y'all talking down on him. He doing it to He just saved us millions and millions of dollars. Now he got us draft picks. We can go in the draft and get three pass rushers. We can go inside the draft and get three pass rushers out the first round. We can get three of the best, three out of the 12 of the best top pass rushers in that nation called the college. We can go get three pass rushers. I wish y'all could play the ball. Oakland got no pass rush. Oakland got no pass rush. Oh my God. Why Oakland can't get to the quarterback? Because Oakland got no pass rush. John Gruden know we don't have no pass rush. He know we don't. That's why he traded for... That's why he was asked for no first rounds. Because John Gruden know 12 other best pass rushers is in the next year's NFL. Yeah, NFL uh, draft. So, it only makes sense now. It made sense to me. We need pass rush. We need corners. We need wide receivers now. So why not get first rounds? We got three. And we got three first rounds. And next year, we got two in 2020. And you let me know John, if John Gruden ain't know what he's doing. Uh, he know what he's doing. He know exactly what he's doing. He got Marcel Aitman. I think that's his name, Marcel Aitman. Marcel Aitman is young. You can't sleep on Marcel Aitman. Marcel Aitman is good. But no, the Cooper trade do not bother me. Yes, Cooper good. Head up and down seasons. Head up and down seasons, man. Two concussions, I believe. Two concussions. He was dealt with injuries. But he's good. He's good. I'm not going to take that away from Cooper. Cooper is good. It's just... After Bill Musgrave left, his stats went down. 
After Bill Musbury got fired, Amari Cooper's stats went straight down the drain. And that's what a lot of people not pointing out. Because Bill Musgrave had Amari Cooper on fire. It's all about the coaching and who calling the plays. And I hate when sports analysts do not put that in there with their statements they be making on TV. It's all about the coaching. And who coaching and calling the plays. That's what it's all about. It's all about how you use your players. Alright y'all, I'm out. This your boy LB. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I hope y'all enjoyed my opinion. I hope my opinion opened up people's eyes a little bit more about how John Gruden trying to run this scene and build this scene. Because if I seen good people going next year draft, that just as good as the players that we that want all this money, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of them. Yeah, I'm gonna save this money. Because John Gruden clearly said he do not want to rely on veterans to help win games. He want young guys. He want. He clearly said it. He want young guys. He want young guys to step up. He want young guys to step up and learn, learn the game, learn the NFL game, and win. He clearly said it. I don't know. Understand why people don't pay attention. It's all about wording. See, this is how I try to teach people out here in the street. It's all about wording. You can learn a lot by how somebody word things, word what they say. The wording can change a lot of things. It's like, it's like I could walk up to a girl and tell her I want you. Then, then I could say. The next week, I think I want you. The wording of that is two different things. That's two different meanings. Cause when the, the first one's mean, I want you, it's like, I'm confident, I know I want you. I know I want you. I'm telling her directly, I want you. It come off as aggressive. Me saying, I think I want you, meaning, I have doubts. I'm not sure. I don't know. Don't do it. Don't pull off. But, but you gotta pay attention to what people say and how they say it. That's all I'm basically talking about. You have to watch what people say and how they say it. Because what they say can actually fool you. Some, sometimes. But fool them. Building to be great. You got to trust the process, man. It's going to get ugly before it get pretty. But he building for a long, he building a team for a long period of time. He built a team for them to be good for a long period of time. Not no one or two years, then boom, they bad again. No, John Gruden don't want that for the Raiders. You know how the Raiders were playing in the 70s? They was good for like a long period of time. Not all the good one year. Let me see how we was good for 2016. They ended up bad in 17, 18. John Gruden want the Raiders to be like that again. When they say bring the greatness back to Raiders to Oakland, that's what he's trying to do. Bring that greatness back to Oakland. He want that old fashioned football back to Oakland. He want that aggressive smash mouth talking in Oakland. But. He got to do it through the draft. He got to do it through the draft. But all right, y'all, I'm off.